Hey YouTube, it's uh, Negan here with another video. Um, as promised, I wanted to do a review of the new side mirrors I got for the 68 Coupe. Um, I got these off of eBay at a really good price. Now I've been searching for a long time, you know, went to CJ Pony Parts, <coughs> National Parts Depot, <coughs> Kentucky Mustang, and a couple of others, and they all bought the same price, about a little bit over $50 each. And, um, so I just kind of kept looking, you know, I saw a couple shady places too on the internet because you never know what you're going to get. And, uh, you know, I found, I found one, uh, eclassics.com and I uh, actually sold the, uh, the side mirrors for about $42, $42. I was like, mm, I don't know. Uh, and uh, it's one of those shady places. So anyway, so I went away and went ahead and went to, uh, to eBay. <clears throat> Again, what's that called? <coughs> went to eBay and I found the mirrors. So I found the mirrors on eBay after a couple searching and uh, and uh, I actually got two of them for uh, just under sixty dollars. And um, I'm telling you, this is this is a good product. So we'll go ahead and I'll get the box up here on the old bench and uh, we'll do a review there and also on how I took off the old mirrors. Those were kind of a pain to get off but um we'll go through that too okay let's get started so here on the car you can see that um this is where the mirror used to sit let me get the old mirror the old mirror wasn't in bad shape you know when you look at it I uh, had to clean off the chrome for a little bit here and uh, the problem was is that after I adjust it go on the cruise it starts to wiggle wobble here not good <clears throat> so you know I had it straightened out and then it would just kind of fall off in place. Now there is a there is a way to fix these. Um because as you can see here in the back, just the uh the connector here got a little rusted out. Um and it just doesn't grab very well. So what you can do, and I've seen this uh <clears throat> suggested is soaking these mirrors in some gasoline, you know, filling up a jug, filling up a, a bucket with some gasoline setting it down in the gasoline overnight so that way it uh, eats the adhesive that is on the glass. Then you can just carefully pry the glass off. <clears throat> now underneath here, this ball joint <clears throat> is actually, there's a ball joint here and within, in, inside there's a little plate that sits on there that kind of holds it tight. So you can get a hammer, just kind of hammer it down, make it a little bit tighter again, so that way it's tight on the uh, on the box here, and then uh, reapply the <clears throat> the glass. I don't want to go through all of that hassle. You know, honestly, um, it's still a good side mirror, but you know, I wanted to have matching side mirrors because back in '68, it only needed one. So um, we want to have two. Want to make sure we can see, drive safe, right? So. <clears throat> taking the mirror off was a little bit of a trouble. So as you can see, you know, um, the screws here that I had were completely stripped out. Um, not, I'm sorry, they weren't stripped out, but what happens, what, what happened is, is there's a, a little bracket here that connected to the sheet metal on the car. Now, <clears throat> as I would turn the, the screw, as you can see here, The little bracket doesn't does it wouldn't unscrew from the screw. You see that? So it would just spin and spin. The same thing with the front and the back. <clears throat> I tried everything. First, I tried it with the front. Got my screwdriver, prying on it, prying on it. Uh, same thing with the back. You know, the back here and the front, prying on it. So I kind of started getting a little loose here and there, and I'm thinking, I'm either gonna screw this up or it's gonna be a winner. So I decided to be a winner. So I kept going, you know, kept going, going, and it got looser and looser. And finally, you know, I just got to the point where, you know, I just kind of popped it off with some, <clears throat> with some elbow grease. Same thing with the front, popped that off with some elbow grease and, and now we're here. So as you can see, you know, these, uh, the screw that's on here, if I can get close enough here, there we go, there. See, so you have this bottom part and then you have this top part here and that's the sheet metal was wedged between those two. 
<clears throat> which when I pried it off, I enlarged the holes. That's the problem. So, you know, I did some research and uh, they actually came up with these little grommets here for oversized holes. Um, went ahead and purchased the set. Just uh, gonna try my luck. Um, got them in within a day or two. Sell them on CJ Pony Parts. I'll put a link in the description. <clears throat> well, that's where the wife came in handy. So, with the install. So I tried and tried to get them in, you know, just going down and it didn't work. <coughs> so as she came home and she's like, well, let me help you out. So she did and actually, you know, in the front, I'll show you here, uh, but um, we want to take off the, the panel, the door panel. Took off the door panel, have some access, put the window up, have some access to the, going through the back. And um, I was able to fish the grommet <clears throat> through the door um, into from the bottom up. Um, it has this little lip on the grommet. So push the, the lip on the grommet in through the hole. Then she was able to kind of pry it out a little bit and get the whole face of the grommet out. <clears throat> well, I was able to get this one out because, uh, you know, I had room. But this one here, I couldn't. So she went ahead with her with her little hands, was able to get in there and, and uh, get her done. So that was nice. So I got these grommets in now. <clears throat> so we got the new mirrors in, um, some new gaskets. I'll go ahead and clean all this up real nice and pretty. Um, so that way we're not, you know, putting it on some, some old dirt here. There's minimal rust on this guy too. So that's always nice that's a, not to have any rust on that. So uh, I have this old mirror here, probably keep it. Uh, maybe I'll have a, uh, give it to Lucille. So we'll see. So here we are back at the bench. Um, Got the old mirror here with the, the seal just waiting for that guy. So I'm going to pull up the new mirrors here. <clears throat> Do a little unboxing. <clears throat> so I got these from KK Group on eBay. Link in, uh, link in the description below. <clears throat> Went ahead and opened them up first, so we'll go ahead and see what's in the box now. So comes with some nice fuzzy dice. Be nice and cool. <clears throat> then inside we got a, a box in a box. That's always interesting, right? Let's see here. Ah, here we go. Put that box out, eh? Here we go. So let's see what we got. <clears throat> got some new gaskets, new screws, that's nice. One, two. There we go. And here are the mirrors. <clears throat> All of these are nice. Yeah. Put that to the side. Oh, nice and tight. See, that's what you want. You want a good uh, tight ball joint there so that way they don't wiggle on you after you adjust them. So here's the mirror. As you can see, nice and clean. No scratches, no chips, nothing. The chrome on these guys is superb. Look at this, real nice. <clears throat> now, what I did find out is it a little different. So when you look at, <clears throat> when you look at them side by side, um, they look pretty similar, but when you get down to the details, they're actually a little different. So the sizing is a little bit different, but the, the good thing is that the holes match up and that's really what you want. So the holes matching up is good. <clears throat> now, I will say, you know, a little bit of disclaimer, I'm not, I'm not affiliated with uh, the vendor here that we purchased them from, but um, I did have a problem with them. Um, I went ahead and ordered the first set and this is actually the second set that I got in. Looks really nice, right? <clears throat> well, the first set I got in, we had a problem. Here's the first one. <clears throat> As you can see, kind of the same build quality is good, but there's a chip. You see that right there? That's unacceptable. <clears throat> so we went ahead and called the, I uh, messaged the vendor. Um, they went ahead and issued that apology. And right then and there, they just went ahead and sent uh, a new pair. And uh, that came in with about another four or five days these came in so i still have the old ones um 
they do have a little chip here. I mean, it's it's not too bad as you can see. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get it to focus a little bit here. There we go. So there's a little bit of a chip there. I don't think it it'll, it'll actually <clears throat> spider web out too much. Um, they would last in the car, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sweat it. Now I do have two. Um, <clears throat> if you want, go ahead and. Leave a comment below um, so I can get in contact with you if you want to buy these off of me. Um, I'll leave a uh, leave a comment below and I'll get with you on that. Um, but these are these probably will be for sale <clears throat> at a good price. So once again, these are the mirrors, <coughs> and uh, let's say uh, let's get these installed. All right, first things first, we're going to go ahead and clean this off and got some all-purpose cleaner, just some. Something easy to clean off all this grit. Spray it. <clears throat> I'm not too worried about this paint. The paint job is gonna get changed out anyway. So let's clean that up there and start going to town on this. All right. Like I said, there's starting to see a little bit of minimal rust it's kind of some surface rust not too bad I'll spray it down again but I got a lot of it off check that out all right <clears throat> let it sit there for a little bit that's gonna be nice having these mirrors I'm telling you you don't know how difficult it is to drive without mirrors. <clears throat> now this is a driver car. It is running. It does run very, very well. Um, I got it tuned that way. That way I can enjoy it. You know, I'm telling you, you don't know where life is going to take you. And uh, in my case, you know, I always say you only live twice. <laughs> you know, maybe even in the hospital and all. But let's see here. There we go. All right, there we go. So, <clears throat> I'm not gonna mess with that rust right now. You know, I don't drive this car in the rain and I say probably in the next couple couple months, I'm not, I'm gonna get this car painted. So, we got the gasket here. I'm gonna go ahead and get that installed underneath. So we got two sides of the gasket. So as you can see here, you have a little bit of a indentations and then one big indentation. So the big indentation is going to go on the top and that's where the, <clears throat> the mirror is going to lay. Now this bottom one here, there's kind of a minimal contact on the door. So that's good. And this is kind of where we want to put it. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, we got a little bit of a, of a discrepancy here. You know, I'm thinking maybe we should have kind of gone through the other way, but <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and just put these on anyway. So, <clears throat> here we go. So we got the mirror here, we got our gasket, and uh, let's fit that on there. Another thing you want to make sure is caution. <clears throat> Your little side mirrors here. You want to make sure that you have clearance. So <clears throat> if you're putting these in new, um, you want to make sure, I think you measure from the door jam this way. It should be 11 inches. Okay. So measure out your 11 inches. That's where you draw your first hole. And then after, depending on what kind of mirror you're putting in, 
That's where you put the other gasket in, or the other hole. <clears throat> there we go. Put that guy down. And uh, now we got some good mirrors on. Look at that. Nice and clean. Well, there you go, guys. There's the new mirrors installed on the 68. <clears throat> haven't come up with a name for her yet, but you know, if you want to go ahead and leave a comment down below and uh, we'll go ahead and check it out and see what we can do to get a name to this beauty. So like always, go ahead and subscribe and, and hit a like on this video. It really helps out the channel, helps me grow, and uh, we'll go from there. So again, you know, see you in the next video, and I'll take care.